the eights. Kiwikis stand up to the Intergalactic Hairdressers Association. The Kiwiki community is suing the IHA for discrimination in response to the organization's refusal to apply the same prices and discounts to their species as it does to the rest of the galaxy. Wendy Blackwood reveals her secret diet. Strike a Pose magazine has published the diet of Rune's sexy founder, and despite the fact that water is the main nutrition source, cheating by drinking sparkling water at parties is allowed. Sinking their teeth into a fat wad of bills, the owner of the animal that attacked and bit an android several times on Joy Toy 34 will receive damages to cover the veterinary costs for her pet whose teeth were destroyed in the incidents. Darsabasu announces latest from Usync. The company is working on a technology that will tell consumers what products to buy and could even save them from having to make any decisions, with the CEO claiming, our machine will do it for you. Lovely. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Cage 10, what do you need to know? What's the name of the person who runs the city corresponding to Cage 10? It's Emma Chris. Um, new stock alert, okay. Hello, Blue's still here. Uh, always at your service. Contact me because you have come to your senses and want to invest, right? Great, but you have to wait until tomorrow. Okay, whoops. I should probably actually have some money ready to invest. Oh, maybe we can call Emma. Ah, oh, come on, Emma. Pick up the phone, Emma! Okay, maybe we can do some work. I'll be an order picker slash packer, why not? Maybe I'll be a Green Bay Picker slash Packer. Emma, you on the clock yet? Emma, when can I call you? Oh, what's going on here? You're up to you. We do sending money hand over fist. Hey, why don't you go out and see wh where we ended up? Because we could run into a comet head on. Yes, like the dinosaurs. Ha, rah, rah. This kid's not very bright. Don't talk about him like that. That's what you get for making this an unsafe space where communication is impossible. Yeah, right. You can shut up, too. Hey, you wanna see this? It's irrelevant. Great, I succeeded. As anticipated. Um, a true love. Yes, yes, of course. Hey, Emma, you, you available yet? She's got to be available soon. When you're half as visionary as you were intense. Have you made anything that isn't an antiquated monstrosity? A shield with a colony emblem. emblem. You're as handsome as you. You're messing with me. Probably. Me with my stomach tied in knots and you wasting time on shields. Why would I promise a classic design when those nincompoops would buy anything? Mr. Capel. Hello, group. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get straight to the point. Skipping time, you're not allowed to interact with the citizens. Wait, wait, and your cousin, Joan? He was busy. But not worry, he asked me to vote for him. That worries me even more. Go on, peeps, don't get distracted. I want us to vote on my proposal to switch to pop. The record label and I both think this is the way to go. Oh man, tell me you're joking. No, this is no joke. I still think it's the best option. Uh, it shouldn't be with a video clip without arresting the rest of you. You should behave yourself starting to tell me if you've seen anything down there. Uh, I should have taken your views into account. So I'd also like Joan to help me with the songs for the next album. 
We could even rethink the video clip as a group. I vote yes. Hang on, hang on, her? Help you with songwriting essay? Her? May I ask what you're insinuating? No, oh, nothing. I'm just saying that. Her? Seriously? Cool with Max. They're pop songs. Because you have a points. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. Well, it just seems the three of you agrees. So I guess we're doing it. Let's hope you know what you're doing. Okay. Oh, well. Come on, get it off your chest. Vent all you want. I think I'm going to faint. We gotta restock the beverages at the inn. Okay, when can I call her? Maybe once she's done with this conversation. We gotta watch the entrance. We gotta look for my holo communicator. Oh, she doesn't have her holo communicator. I can't do it all. What's this? Hello? Are you there? Yes, hello. Great. I'll make this quick. Because I'm very busy. Writing songs with Arthur. We're at the peak of our creative effervescence. I just wanted to thank you. For helping the group. And encouraging my idol. To take a look at my songs. It was nothing. That's not true. If not for you, we'd still be at each other's throats. So we're going to send you something. To say thank you. We hope you enjoy it. In the new direction... My mouth is going in. Goodbye. Okay, so she's lost her holo communicator. How are we going to find it? I was talking to you. I feel like a bad friend. No problem. Fine. And I finished all my work in 20 minutes. Oh, please. What does it take to get a job in administration? The usual, finish college, get through the interview process, not start a fire that ruins your life. I'm never going to live down what happened at the Beta Sigma in fraternity, am I? I'm never going to find a better job. Well, better is asking for a lot, but you might find something that's slightly less bad. That's a good thing about being the manager of the Gates of Avalon. You can only go up from there. Who knows, maybe you could get a job as delivery person for Eden or something like that. At least that way I could get implants to go faster. Ugh, it's getting late. I've got to get cracking. Goodbye. Hello? Oh, thank you. What an original sheet music. This pop song was written by Arthur Rain and Joan Thorne. Oh. Okay. So she doesn't... Demon be gone! Banging sword. Why did I have to bring this diabolical metal into my home? Silence, beast! Oh, it's the blacksmith! The blacksmith has her communicator. Hello? Who are you? M me? I'm just a humble blacksmith. Who are you? An evil spirit? A delirium caused by my desperation? Or you perchance a spirit sent to answer my prayer? Tell me what you want from me. A voice that lives inside the metal. Seems like you're having trouble winning over your man. I don't know more about the woman who manages your city. Oh, mysterious voice, I fear that I'm not the right person to answer that question, as I know almost nothing about her. She always teaches us, whilst she goes hither and yon at great speed, as if trying to outrun death itself. Why all this curiosity, if you don't mind me asking? I know why. She was the one who let your metal home fall off the balcony. You belong to her, is that not so? Oh, and why does she have such an object? Is she a witch? Uh, no, no, you don't have to worry. Speak and ask me anything you wish, demon. I won't put up any resistance. It seems you're having trouble winning over your man. 
Alas, you speak the truth. Tell me, are you here to help me? Be you demon or spell, there's no question that if that is so, you are answering my prayers. Of course. Praise be your voice. Even if agreeing to this means selling my soul, this love is worth any sacrifice. Allow me to introduce myself and share my tale of woe with you. My name is Rocco Winslow, and my true love gave me the chance to win his heart with a gift he made me the happiest of men. Nevertheless, after many failures, I must be the unhappiest man alive. In my desperation, I came to think that the metal box where you live was the heavens helping me to understand his world, as if I didn't know that not everything is a source for inspiration. Of course, Jules detested the results to the point where I had to beg for one last chance. Help me to understand what he desires, please. What else do you want to know, mysterious voice? I want to know where at the place where you live. Uh, all right, voice. I'll tell you anything you want to know in exchange for your help. I live in a modest hut located at 17P Aphid Lane, HV 97 behind the inn. It's a bit rowdy, but I'm so exhausted after a day at the forge that I collapse each night when I come home. Tell me what you desire from me. Alright, can I hear about the woman anymore? As I told you, I know almost nothing about her. She is one who understands how the city works, but she hardly ever stops to talk to us. Well, except when she wants to reprimand us. Speak and ask me anything you wish, demon. I won't put up any resistance. And I gotta go now. Alright, spirit, do not forget to help me. Okay, so I think I know the ploy here. We go to the shop. We need to buy... Something to send to him. It's not gonna be a scan, it's not gonna be a Powell. Not a speed limiter. Probably a bracelet, I'd imagine. Hmm. Eureka helmet? What's their Eure Eureka helmet? This professional protection will give you that plus of safety. While you repair your ship in space, thanks to its new microphone, people actually hear you shouting. Oh, I need to get that sent to the the people in the ship, probably. I'm not an idiot, I know how to make a call. I bet you do, considering all the practice you're getting at us. It's all the damned kids' faults. Right, I'm not doing... I'm not... I'm a paleontologist. Paleontologist is my ass. Okay, I'll call. Breathe. Hello, you've called Hyperway Assistance. Please state your name and hollow number. <sighs> the name is Murphy Wakaloo, and I'm calling from UF08... Whatever, it's a number. Greetings, how can I help you? I'd like to renew my vehicle registration. Unfortunately, I can't do that unless you tell me how to get from Synax to Keplin. Unfortunately, I can't do that unless you tell me how to get from... Yeah, it's next to Kaplan. And with no more than three hyperway jumps, we're low on energy. And make it quick. Nice try. So nice, in fact, that even if you couldn't have pronounced those systems names worse. I could slap you with a fine for lying to a council employee. No, Ma'am, not necessary. I don't need anything. Uh, you sure nailed it. Quit taunting him. Each time they open their mouths, I feel like turning this tin can around. Come on, let's have dinner. It'll make you feel better. Okay. All right, so back to the shop. Reprogrammed obsolescence? No. I don't know what to give him. Like, okay, what do we got? Jewelry, design, bracelets. Special edition of enforcement, record player, vintage paperweight. I 
I don't know what I should get. Palboy 3000? Contact your plans Omni Pal 24 7. Forty digital. Forget those boring hollow videos. Forty digital models. I don't know. I really am at a loss for what to send this to these guys. Maybe I can call him again. Yeah, figures. I should send him something. Tissue that brings together the films would make up the Syrup Trilogy. Record player. If your musical taste is timeless, this record player is for you. I do not know. Turn out the helmets. Wait, maybe the helmet? This professional protection will give you that plus of safety while you repair your ship in space, where thanks to its new microphone, people actually hear you shouting? Uh, maybe that. I'll try. It's pending. We'll see how that goes, I suppose. Um... Murphy! I guess we'll need to call it a more reasonable time. Do I have any food? Uh, kind of. My health is looking pretty bad, though. Did I get an email? Purchase confirmed, okay. I need to go buy... It's gotta be canned fish and fruit gel, I guess. All right. Feeling a bit better. Uh, now I definitely want to do some work if it's available. Some content creation, sure. Right at home. Twelve to four. Okay, that's not going to be available. Uh, I guess I could buy one more cage at least. Murphy, you uh, around yet? Alright, maybe in the morning. Like the actual technical morning, perhaps. Hmm. I'll be curious to see what happens here. I hope we got him the right thing. Seems quite plausible that we may not have. But you never know. I've got to buy uh, two more cages pretty quick, I think. Hmm. Day nine. Two more days to get two more cameras. Apollo 18 reaches destination. Expansion beyond the Milky Way could become a reality thanks to the new milestone set by Uzink, whose rocket landed today on Sandre, one of the celestial bodies in the distant Har system. Uproar at betting parlors, an attack of robo-dyslexia affecting the lottery number announcer has unleashed chaos at betting parlors where dozens of customers have gathered and are demanding pay payment for non-winning tickets. The Conspiracy Academy attacks Clickopedia, 
The institution goes after the website, accusing its editors of lack of professionalism and demanding that Chronopedia be made the only official source of the information on the web. Progress is coming at full speed. The experimental machine that powers the Using 27 Metropolis today marks its 25th anniversary of continuous operation, providing jobs to thousands of employees and rewarding working days of between 8 and 15 hours. It seems like a bit much. Okay, you do nothing. Okay. Oh, can I uh, call? Murphy, my man, Murph. Okay, well. Any jobs I can take? Four hours as cartography. Four hours as a rainmaker. I kind of want to stick around and see this play out, but I, I do need the work. I need the money, is the thing. Supposed to be put it in here quickly. That's not my address. Should have put it in here quickly. Wait, what's this? It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's even worse than the last one you made. That one looks like a mangled holo communicator. Is it not to your liking? Are you joking? Of course I don't like it. I knew I shouldn't have given you any more chances. If it was clear that you lacked vision, all I've done is waste my time. So long, dirtbag. Wait! Um, I'm literally one dollar short. Uh, I'll have it tomorrow. I saw the expression right, and why was Mr. Capel so furious? What happened to Roko? Or what happened to Roko? He won't be back. I'm never going to see him again. Are you serious? Finally, some good news! I, I, I cursed my job a thousand times over for taking my true love from me! I swear I will never work again in this forge! I shall take to my bed to await death. Eh, hey, not so fast. Let's sit down at the inn and you can tell me what happened. Can't be serious enough to keep you from working. Focusing on your work might even help you. Let's go talk about it. Okay, I mean, that worked out mostly, I guess. I'm getting a bit tired. Lobsters, okay. Okay, um, let's see. Hey Murph, my man! Buddy, hey! Hello, anyone there? Please tell me you're calling from the Council Space Traffic Office because you people have come to your senses. Of course, why not? That's a strange way of putting it, but as long as you help us, the truth is that I don't care one bit. This is the situation. We're at a rest area in the Sima system on the way to Kapler. And we have no idea which way to go, so some directions would be great. I almost forgot our spacecraft only has enough energy for three route jumps at most, so please don't have me going around in circles like an idiot, alright? Turn right and keep going straight. You have to head larboard all the way. Let me research it and I'll call you back. So hold on, so... Okay, okay, but don't forget, please. The situation's making me crazy. Talk to you later. I guess we need... Here, show me the hyperway. 
The term hyperware refers to the routes that make up the traffic network used by space vehicles, typically color-coded. These routes like different systems. They also tend to be interconnected through the use of hyper-interchanges, which enables any vessel with sufficient meta-quantum energy to jump from one to another. I showed the hyperware in Beta Fun 19. Vehicle registration. The council opens a new office for managing space traffic. After months of debate over the jurisdiction of space traffic, the bureaucrats are taking control. The council space traffic office will be taking over the work of issuing and renewing driving licenses and vehicle registration permits, for which they foresee charging a small fee going forward. In addition, they've announced the creation of free holophonic hotline for all licensed drivers who have their papers in order. Okay. Hmm. Vehicle registration for tin can. Tin can. The Ozink tin can. Ozink vehicle registration. Vehicle registration in the beta fun sector. Vehicle registration for the Hyperway. Hyperway Ozink? I feel like I'm missing like one keyword. Like, I need an active, like, hyperway route. <laughs> Greetings, we still here, blue blah blah, new pal. Your investment counselor, always at your service, just click away. I mean, guess you've contacted me because you want blue blob to make today a special day, or a spatial day for you. With our fabulous new investments, right? Tell me about them. That's what I like to hear. Today we have three fabulous investments to offer you. First, we can create a jingle for the company's advertising campaign. Second, we can launch a new Blue Blob flavor. Third, and lastly, we can organize an interplanetary X1 Blue Blob Zero jointly with other companies. I know, I know, they're all brilliant. Come on, I can't stand it. Tell me which one you like best. Go ahead, ask me anything without obligation, then you can confirm that you really want to invest your money or not. And the expo sounds interesting. You better believe it, it's a perfect opportunity for Blue Blob Zero citizens to learn about the cultures of other planets and the alien species that live on them. Not to mention that these types of events always create wealth and jobs that almost offsets all the risks that these types of investments involve. <laughs> and uh, for only 50 credits, what do you think? Let's do it. Terrific, I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Best of luck with the investments. And remember, you can follow its progress in the app. See you and make sure to have a very spatial day. Okay. Yeah, I, I must be missing like one dialogue or something that'll reveal all to me. Like, I don't know when these guys like hang out in their ship and talk about stuff. I think I need, I don't think I've ever caught to the very beginning of their conversations. So I think that's probably what I'm missing. And almost regardless of what I can manage to get out of them, uh, I do probably need to just work a ton tomorrow. Because I need to buy more food, I need to pay for rent, I need to pay for cages. Like, there's a lot. Okay, cool. The beginning. I told you I heard people out there. Hey, hello. Do you know how to get to the Peckler system or whatever you call it? The Peckler system. Kaplan or Flepper, hello. You're just going to make them think you, you're nuts. Look at their horrified faces. They're running away. I didn't even know it was possible to run in space. Of course they can see us in this tin can and think we're up to no good. So, should we try calling? Is that a valid vehicle registration permit? They won't help us. What do you want me to do? Dial our anniversary? Wow, it's ringing. Oh, this is Murphy Wackaloo, and I'm calling from you know, this number. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need directions for getting from the Sina system to Coupler. Chinax to Kaplan, or however it's pronounced. I deal with no more than three hyperway jumps. No, we have to go to Dino's Rar. 
Just say Perugia. I don't understand a damn thing. Really, this conversation has got to be one of the famous top 10 most coherent. Don't be a smart ass, I. Eh? Thanks for the constructive criticism. Your father has a point, dear. I can't wait until you grow out of this phase. Let's hope it's soon. No additional information. Ah, oh, come on, Murphy. Murph! Oh, yeah, so we legitimately got nothing. Um, hmm. That's tough. Right, well, I guess... I can't. I need the health. I'll be a night doorman. Okay, I'm nearly dead. I just need to buy like loads of fruit jello. I will not meet my demise this day, I swear it. Eat the Eat the je Eat the darn jello, man. And some chicken. Okay. Technically alive. I'll be a cartography assistant now. Day 10. 